The Dawning has returned to Destiny 2 as the holiday event for 2022, and along with it comes a brand new Triumph Seal attached to the event card. The title you can earn for completing it is called Starbaker. There are 16 Triumphs in total to complete the Seal, and 4 extra ones for gilding. If you've played during the previous two events in Destiny 2, you'll be very familiar with how it all works as this follows the same pattern. As for the event itself, it is very similar to Dawning events in previous years, where we are baking cookies and giving gifts. This is also the third out of four event cards needed to complete the Reveler title. Really quick, if you enjoy the video or find it helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. In order to view all the triumphs, you need to complete the initial introduction quest. Once completed, you can claim your first triumph, and now you can see all the remaining triumphs. The first three all require you to bake 20 different cookies using the oven in your inventory. There are 22 cookies in total, and they can be baked using one uncommon ingredient, one rare ingredient, and 15 Essence of Dawning. If you're missing ingredients, you can hover over the one you need in the ingredients section of the holiday oven, and it will tell you what you need to do in order to get said ingredient. For example, if I wanted to make Traveler Donut Holes, I would need Cabal Oil and Flash of Inspiration. Cabal Oil can drop randomly from defeating Cabal, and Flash of Inspiration can drop randomly by creating Orbs of Power. Quick tip for generating Orbs of Power, put on either Kinetic or Harmonic Siphon Helmet mods to generate easy Orbs of Power on weapon kills. Essence of Dawning can be obtained randomly when completing any seasonal or playlist activity such as Strikes, Nightfalls, Crucible or Heist Battlegrounds and also from activities like public events and patrols. Shopping Spree requires you to purchase all 12 upgrades with Dawning Spirit. The upgrades either cost 20 or 40 Dawning Spirit, which can be obtained by delivering cookies across the system or by completing some of the triumphs tied to the seal. Snowball Ops and Snowball Dares require you to defeat 100 enemies in Vanguard Ops and 100 enemies in Dares of Eternity using Snowballs. Snowballs spawn at different locations in Strikes and Dares, so just stand there and throw snowballs at enemies to defeat them and progress both triumphs. The next four triumphs are all tied to defeating enemies with each element, Arc, Solar, Void and Stasis. So just make sure you're using the weapons or subclass you need while running some of the other activities and you'll find yourself progressing these in no time. Vanguard Eternity will require 6 completions of either Dares or Vanguard Ops to complete this triumph, and Competitive Spirit requires Crucible or Gambit completions. You get 10% per loss and 20% per win, so if you win all your games you can get this one done in just 5 matches. Nightmare Seraph Before Dawning requires Nightmare Containments or Heist Battlegrounds completions. Each completion will give you about 17% progress, so it will take you 6 activity completions. Completing activities in Savathun's Throne World will complete the triumph with Light Comes Dawning. This one requires a fair few activity completions. The Lost Sector gives you 5% progress, a public event gives you 3% and a strike in the Throne World gives you 10%. So you could run 10 strikes or 20 Lost Sectors or a combination to complete this triumph quickly. The final triumph to complete the seal is Bake Stravaganza. This requires 50 cookies to be baked using the oven and completing all 16 of these triumphs completes your seal and unlocks the Star Baker title. If you've played the previous two events this year, that will most likely put you at 3 out of 4 for the Reveler title, which we will be able to complete during the next seasonal event. Completing the 4 additional triumphs will gild the seal. If you don't know what title gilding is once you complete the seal, some seals will offer a few additional triumphs to complete before the season or event is over, and it will give you the orange version of the title and a little tracker to show you how many times you've gilded the seal. Frozen Doom requires about 400 enemies defeated with snowballs anywhere across the system. Reason for the season requires you to deliver 100 dawning gifts to vendors. This one might take a while as baking 100 cookies will need a lot of ingredients and essence. Joyous Spirit requires you to spend 500 dawning spirit. Purchasing all of the upgrades costs 380, and you can spend the remaining 120 on gifts of dawning present, provided you have a gift in return, which can be obtained by delivering cookies to vendors or by completing some of the triumphs. And the very final triumph is Cheerful Destruction, requiring you to defeat 2,000 enemies with dawning weapons. There are 5 dawning weapons, so I would recommend using them while going for your kills with the elemental weapons to do multiple at once. All 4 of the triumphs are quite simple, they just might take a little bit of time to complete. But the gilding for this seal will reset annually similar to the other two seasonal event titles. This means you will have the orange title until the dawning event returns next year, provided of course you complete all 20 triumphs before the event ends. Hopefully you were able to find this guide helpful and good luck if you're grinding out any god rolls over the holidays. Thank you so much for watching, hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you next time.